Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to explain to you the three security roles we can assign within the SharePoint Term Store. Uh, Term Store is obviously a location where uh, you as an organization will manage uh, the various term sets, essentially the metadata that will be used and reused across uh, different sites you have in your SharePoint online environment. Um, however, very, very important, there are three different security roles we can have here, and I would like to explain all of them to you. I'll start with, uh, with the term store admins. Uh, essentially, these are the users who have full admin privileges of the term store. Now, just because uh, you might be a SharePoint admin doesn't mean that you would be the admin of the term store. It's a unique role uh, that you would need either someone would need to assign to you or uh, you would be able to assign yourself if you are the uh, the SharePoint uh, admin within your environment. So for that, of course, you would need to click on the term store under content services. I'm already here. And this is where it lists all the admins uh, of the term store. So all you need to do is just click edit and you know type in the uh, additional names you want to add it uh, to add. Uh, and uh, those people will be the admins of the term. So let me remove John. Uh, all right, let's leave it alone, just like that. Um, essentially, uh, admins uh, have full admin privileges. They can create different, uh, you know, uh, the new uh, term groups. They can um, create and maintain uh, anything um, within uh, those groups, you know, new term sets, new terms. Essentially, they have full admin privileges over the whole term store. All right, so that's situation number one. However, let's just say, you know what? Uh, I don't want to add, I want to add John uh, as maybe the manager of a particular set of terms, all right? I don't want, you know, John to be the manager, uh, the, the overall admin and manage all of the term sets. So let's just say um, I want John to only maintain uh, the terms, you know, the term sets within this accounting uh, group over here. All right, I don't want John to have access to uh, all the uh, other groups, all the other term sets I have, just this accounting uh, one. So for that, what you would need to do is click on the name of the group, of the term group. And over here on the right side, you're going to see group managers and contributors. And let me explain to you the difference between the two. All right, so uh, contributors essentially are users who would be able to add, edit, delete term sets uh, within this group. So in other words, if I add John uh, as the contributor to uh, this term group, John will be able to come in and add new term sets, you know, delete, uh, you know, delete an existing term set, you know, manage terms within, um, you know, a particular term set. Uh, essentially, John will be able to uh, manage everything inside of this uh, of this um, uh, term group. Uh, John will not still have uh, will not uh, have access to any other term groups, just this one. All right. So that's what contributors can do. Group managers can do everything contributors can, but uh, group managers uh, could also maintain the list of contributors. So let me add John first right here, and by default, John becomes a contributor. All right. Uh, but I'm going to promote uh, John to be the manager, just like that, all right? So John ended up as a group manager. Let me add another individual. So I'm going to add Lisa. And Lisa, uh, by default, will become a contributor. Um, we can upgrade her to manager, but let's, uh, let's leave her alone. Uh, let me explain to you what we just did. So both John and Lisa can uh, maintain the, you know, these storm sets, you know, they can add, add it, delete, you know, whatever they want, uh, obviously, just inside of this term group. Uh, however, John can also add other contributors, all right? So maybe if there is a team of, I don't know, 10, 15 people, and John is comfortable with all 10, 15 people maintaining the storm sets, then what John can do, uh, John can, uh, you know, uh, you know, essentially add other contributors to this list, all right? That's essentially what John uh, can do. Lisa cannot do that, all right? Lisa, the only thing that Lisa can do is maintain the, um, you know, maintain the term sets within this group. Um, she cannot add other individuals at all, all right? 
Um, one other thing I want to show you. So everything we did here in terms of permissions was at the term group level. That's where the permissions would be set. If you happen to click on a given term set, all right, you would also see this three options of here, owner, stakeholder, and contact. And really, I want to clarify one very important thing for you. Uh, this has nothing to do with security, all right? Essentially, the people you add here, all right, the people you add here is just for your information. So if you want to maybe, you know, this are not necessarily people who will maintain it from the SharePoint side of things in terms of permissions. These are people who, um, you know, are just to, um, you know, you want to retain their contact information. These are people who you can ask uh, if you have some sort of question about the storm set, all right? Maybe you want to share, you know, maybe list somebody's email or phone number or the name of the stakeholder uh, or someone who, you know, right, who owns the term set, a business user um, who owns the term set, who will maintain it, who has ultimate responsibility. So again, you can add people here, but it has nothing, whoever you add here, uh, nothing will happen to the security side of things. Uh, security side of things is taken care of at the group term group level. Here you just specify kind of the business stakeholders, the names um, in case if you need to call, you know, to go ahead and, you know, chat with those people. So at least you know who to contact. That's all. Uh, very, very important to know that. Again, permissions for a particular, um, you know, group of terms is managed at the term group level um, right here, and not at the term set level. All right, so these are the three security roles we can set up, uh, three different uh, ways to set the permissions for your term store. Again, we have the admin role, uh, which obviously has the full admin access over the whole term store. We have group managers and contributors. Uh, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.